स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग यूनिट फोर नेटवर्क सिंथेसिस ऑफ इमिटेंस फंक्शन एंड ऑलरेडी हैज बीन टोल्ड टू यू इमिटेंस फंक्शन इज बेसिकली इमिटेंस एंड एडमिटेंस फंक्शन टू कंबाइन टूगेदर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज आर एल सी थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सिंथेसाइज ए गिवन नेटवर्क फंक्शन इन टू फॉस्टर्स फॉर्म एंड क्वायर्स फॉर्म फॉस्टर्स फॉर्म इज ऑल्सो नोन एज पार्सल फ्रैक्शन एक्सपेंशन फॉर्म इन विच एफ वन एंड एफ टू इज दे इन एफ वन यू ओनली डू फॉर इम्पिडेंस फंक्शन एंड इन एफ टू यू ओनली डू फॉर एडमिटेंस फंक्शन इम्पिडेंस फंक्शन सिंस इम्पिडेंस इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ इम्पिडेंस वेन दे आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज सो यू विल हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ अरेजमेंट and admittance is equal to sum of admittances in parallel so you will have this kind of arrangement now coming to coers form it is known as ladders form it is done by long division method in long division method the remainder becomes the divisor and we continue with the process till we get remainder as zero as we'll see later on so here c1 and c2 both the forms are using long division but when long division is done with highest power of s then it is known as c1 form and when it is done with lowest power of s first then it is known as c2 form this is applicable both for z and y only at the end when realization takes place if you are having a z function initially z as function then you get this kind of network in which there is a z first then y z y in y admittance functions first there is y then z then y and so on so coming to foster's one on impedance form as has been told to you this is represented in series combination forms and each of these z1 z2 z3 z4 they can either be r inductor that is sl or capacitor 1 over sc or it can be a parallel combination of rl rc or lc in your course rlc networks are not there so parallel rl what is the value of zs for a parallel rl network it can be solved r into sl divided by r plus sl and our purpose is to write in the form of sa over s plus b so we take out term l common here and then we are getting s plus r by l in the denominator this l gets cancelled so you are having this form now at the end when you are going to solve a is equal to r b is equal to r by l by this you can find out both r and l coming on to parallel rc network r and 1 over sc they are in parallel so r into 1 over sc divided by r plus 1 over sc which on solving gives you sc r plus 1 in the denominator sc sc gets cancel and taking out rc outside rr gets cancel c goes in the numerator it becomes 1 over c and here you are having s plus 1 over rc this is of the form a over s plus b so here a is equal to 1 over c and b is equal to 1 over rc coming on to parallel lc form sl and 1 over sc they are in parallel so what is the impedance sl into 1 over sc divided by sl plus 1 over sc please don't cut s and s here because sc will get cancelled with sc here so sl divided by s square lc plus 1 now take out lc out so ll will get get cancel and what c will go in the numerator and it will become 1 over c so 1 over c into s divided by s square plus 1 over lc which can be compared to sa over s square plus b where 1 by c is equal to a and 1 by lc is equal to b accordingly you can get the value of c and l now coming to foster's two form this is also known as admittance form and here also partial fraction will be taken while solving the question here since admittance is equal to sum of admittances connected in parallel and these admittances y1 y2 y3 y4 can either be resistance for which the admittance is 1 over r inductance for which the admittance is 1 over sl or capacitance for which the mm, admittance is sc or it can be a series rl combination series rc combination and series lc combination here too series rlc is not there in your course now series rl combination so we are having r and sl combined together and what you want to find out ys for it so ys is equal to 1 over zs what is zs of this branch r plus sl so ys will become equal to 1 over r plus sl taking out l outside 
and bringing it in the numerator, it will give you 1 over L divided by S plus R by L. This is also of the form A over S plus B, where A is equal to 1 over L and B is equal to R by L, from which the value of resistance and inductance can be determined. Now, coming on to series RC function. R in series with 1 over SC will give you the impedance R plus 1 over SC. On taking reciprocal, it will give you Ys. So, Ys is equal to 1 over R plus 1 over SC. SC goes in the numerator. SCR plus 1 in the denominator. Take out CR and then CC will get cancelled. 1 over R will come in the numerator and you will have 1 over R into S divided by S plus 1 over RC, which is of the form SA over S plus B, where 1 over R is equal to A. So, R basically is 1 over A and 1 over RC is equal to B. So, when you know A and B, you can find out R and C from here as well. Coming on to series LC network. Here we are having SL in series with 1 over SC. So, the impedance becomes SL plus 1 over SC. Taking reciprocal of it gives you Ys. So, SC will go in the numerator. S square LC plus 1. Now, take out LC common. CC will get cancelled and L will come into the numerator as 1 over L. So, 1 over L into S divided by S square plus 1 over LC, which is of the form SA over S square plus B, where 1 over L is equal to A. So, L is 1 over A and 1 over LC is equal to B. Accordingly, C can be found out. This is how you are going to attempt questions of Foster's 1 and Foster's 2 form. I'll tell you in examination, you will definitely get a question of Foster 1 and Foster 2 form and also of Coir 1 and Coir 2 form, which will be of 12 and a half mark question. So, completing this video and the next one, you are sure to get 12 and a half marks. And I will advise you to attempt this as the first question of your examination in term paper because this is easiest to solve, very, very technical and there is very, very less chance of committing a mistake. So, if you get 12 and a half, half out of 12 and a half in the first question, you will have confidence for the rest of the paper without wasting too much of time in going through all the small, small parts of question one, which consumes a lot of time and gives you less math.